What's going on, y'all? Back with another reaction video today. We got Max Borgi. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Washington State 5'9, 211. So, Borgi has run well in the past few seasons, showing quickness and strength as a tough runner. He only played in one game in 2020 because of injuries, ran for 95 yards on 10 carries against Utah. In 19, he ran well against Mike Leach's offense in Mike Leach's offense while showing excellent receiving ability with 86 catches for 597 yards. Five scores through the air. His receiving ability could cause him to be a riser through the 2022 NFL draft process. Just from that, I say I see some some Rex Burkhead, you know, I, like with the size right there, and then the receiving ability. Where he ran well in 21, although Washington State did not give him a big workload in terms of carries, it would help him to impress at his pro day and in pre-draft workouts. He did 20 reps in bench. He did not run a 40. To a short limb compact runner who requires a limited menu to have rush success in the NFL. To his credit. His stat line has been solid in all three seasons. He was healthy. He, he offers rushing and receiving versatility at the backfield. However, he's a linear runner, lacking short area wiggle, and he is much more break oriented than gas oriented when it comes time to hit between the tackles. Where he is acceleration turns into quality top speed to the perimeter or in the open field, but it's hard to project a successful NFL career given his issues creating for himself and an unwillingness to hammer it inside. Like a strengths, consistent touchdown production as a starter, fluid in reading and cutting off the lead blocker's hip, rapid turnover and feet. So you got some solid speed, it appears. Juice to beat the angle, okay. Takes very good care of the football as a runner. So uh it seems like you get what you get with him. He's it's not really a, a lot of raw talent. He's just it's all there, you know. Uh, probably would have, you know, would would increase over time is the the IQ and probably, you know, uh, as well, you know, the athleticism, you know, as as he grows, you know, um, with age and working out, um, you know, reaching towards his prime, he's definitely gonna get better. But it seems like for the most part, you see, you get what you get with him. I really, at least how they describe him. There's not really too much raw talent there, but uh, knowing that, you know, knowing what he brings to the table gives reliability and uh gives the offense you know something to know that they can count on so it says linear runner for weaknesses uh moments of passivity when headed between the tackles taps breaks into traffic and anticipates contact lacks the momentum and leg drive to break tackles has one cut traits but not a one cut demeanor stubby arms require an accurate passer all right let's check them out I see you love fluid. Second and eight. Laura dumps it off to Borgie again. Got some smooth movements. It's been close to some really big explosives. Borgie trying to explode himself. Oh, you got solid speed. Okay. Oh, wow. Nothing but runway. Just be 2 0 somehow. So, this is that game against Utah. Borgie. The world knows he can catch it. He wants to put this year. Oh, wow. Good stiff arm. Good block by one. It was solid. Oh, that was nice. Did not expect that out of him. Are they chanting his name? Wow. Oh, wow. He kind of got some deceptive speed. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I like what I see. Wow. I can see him being a rotational piece. I don't really see too much of the receiving. Receiving uh highlights, but. Okay. Okay. Wow. Compact. Hmm. He got good balance. All right. Stiff form is definitely a go-to for him. Got a swing. 
Man, uh, he got good feet. Come on, Riff. Ooh. Barely even touched him. Oh, my gosh. You know, it's, um, I can't really uh, imagine a team that he would fit well in. I think the Browns, he could be a nice number three, like, and number two, because, you know, both of the running backs get injured a lot. I think he'd be nice in that system. Um, I don't want to sell them short because I just don't know if a team. Oh my gosh, that was nice. I just don't know if a team is going to invest in him. But hey, he's nice. Ain't gonna lie. But it's just like I said, I just don't know if a team going to invest in him. I don't. I don't see like um. Man, this guy is just elite, you know, special. He's nice, but, you know, I don't know if he'd be a, like a long-term every down back. Oh, my gosh. That was nice. But, you know, it, it'd be cool to see him get an opportunity. We'll do Hassan Haskins next. But it'd be sort of, see, it's cool to see him get an opportunity and uh see how everything plays out. Um, like I said, it seemed like you get what you get with him, but everything there, you know, got good, good, good attributes, good qualities there. And uh, I, don't, I don't really see... I'm still complaining about uh Patriots. I, I think you know would be a ideal situation for him. They always have like at least five running backs on the roster. Um, maybe the Packers. Um, they, I think he'll be nice with them. Uh, you know, I see him being like a two or a three, but uh, you know, if he could uh become a one, they awesome, awesome. But we'll end it there. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.